Unfortunately, the images that you have already seen coming out of Turkey and Syria are real. They are unfortunately even not doing the scale of the destruction that we have heard and seen ourselves in both countries justice. These earthquakes have been catastrophic. They were so strong that they were felt across the Middle East with hundreds of aftershocks that have followed. There was even a second earthquake that occurred yesterday that was a 7.5 after the 7.8 yesterday morning. The scale of this disaster truly is enormous and it's becoming clearer by the hour just how much destruction has been caused. Tens of millions of people have been affected across the region and unfortunately already we know thousands have died with a death toll that is truly and unfortunately expected to just rise. The landscape is littered with thousands of collapsed buildings across Syria and Turkey and lots of destroyed infrastructure. Children and families are already forced to sleep outside, fearing that further aftershocks will occur. The situation on the ground is desperate, both in Turkey and in Syria, which itself is hosting a massive number of refugees who fled the conflict in Syria and who are now caught up in this natural disaster. The World Health Organization already predicts that this number could reach 20,000 people. We are not just dealing with death and destruction, but now we need to keep the millions of people who are well within this zone of destruction, which is huge, sheltered, kept warm and safe. We need to do this in a landscape where unfortunately roads, water systems, shops and airports are broken. We have staff on the ground. They are responding and they are telling us just how desperate the situation is. Everyone is trying either to help or to survive. In northwest Syria, hundreds of thousands of people are stranded in the streets, either taking refuge on farmland taking refuge with friends and family in informal tented settlements, or just finding anywhere that is safe for fear of further aftershocks. In Turkey, people are huddled at night wherever they can find a space to keep warm, in cars, in tents, or crammed together with others, just trying to get away from the affected areas. Families and children are not just exposed to the biting cold, but potential disease outbreaks while dealing with the very, very real trauma that comes after these horrific incidents. Family members and friends who've also lost their homes and no longer have a place to call their own. World Vision is working around the clock to provide survivors with shelter access to things that will keep them warm, including blankets, heaters, and fuel. We are calling on everyone to assist, and we as World Vision are scaling up our response as rapidly as we possibly can by working with partners and other humanitarian actors to ensure that this response is coordinated, efficient, and is really meeting the most pressing needs of the most vulnerable, particularly children. Please help our incredible staff, but more importantly, the people who've been impacted by this tragic disaster. Help us to be able to respond to these pressing needs and to really reach out to people who are living in the most appalling conditions. We would value your urgent support in this, and we also would value your prayers. Thank you.